Every Friday, the Word of God jumping off the pages into our hearts. And for the month of May, the power of your thoughts. There are a lot of great guys out there and they absolutely love dancing with new girls. Here, give it this. Tell her at least thanks for coming out. I appreciate it, all right? All right, T. Hello? He left a trust fund for you, and it was payable based on you graduating from dance school. If you know something, just tell me, man. I don't want to be out here looking crazy. I would tell you if I knew something, because it sounds like you know something, cuz. Yo, what? And I'm totally scared to tell T. Well, why are you afraid to tell him? You think he'll have you killed or something? I love my music, but I feel like being a servant is my calling too. Yeah. Okay. So like, how do I do them both at the same time? Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Come on. Ah, yeah. Seems you and my brother have been spending quite a bit of time together. Oh, he's just helping with the music. <laughs> oh, just helping with the music. <laughs> Sir, listen, can you please tell him that Audi is here? No one gets Do you in. know any other word to say? Yeah. You do audio? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bro, hold my phone. T! What? What do you mean, what? You've been acting weird and crazy and fidgeting and... I want you to be my wife! <laughs> Every Friday, the word of God jumping off the pages into our hearts. And for the month of May, the power of your thoughts. Hey everybody, what's up? This is your boy Ryan. This is the day, the night, the evening, the opportunity, the hour, the moment that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, thank you so much for this night. Thank you for this opportunity to praise you, to serve you, to love you, to glorify you in all that we do. Before we ask you for anything, we thank you for everything. Forgive us for our sins, our iniquities, our trespasses, Lord, anything we've mismanaged, procrastinated on, or otherwise, Lord. I'm asking that you forgive us, cleanse us, bother us, irritate us until we come to the full knowledge of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, guys, what's going on? This is your boy, Ryan Rutley, and tonight is another night for Bible Alive. Now, this month is the month of May, 2023. We're already in the month of May. I hope that you are being blessed. I hope you're being encouraged. I hope that you are living a life that is pleasing as unto the Lord. So with that being said, this month, we're talking about the power of your thoughts. So this whole month, we're going to be talking about the power of of your thoughts now with that being said you guys we're going to go to the book of romans chapter number 12 and verse number one and two it simply goes like this verse one says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god <laughs> which is your reasonable service but here's the key verse and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed Hallelujah. By the renewing of your what? 
That's right. You guessed it right, guys. You're seeing it in the scriptures by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So here's the blessing about this month. Again, we're talking about the power of your thoughts, the power of your thoughts. Again, let's just make sure that we all are clear on what we're talking about this month, the power of your thoughts. Now, if you know anything about your thoughts, your thoughts are something that you actually can control. Them. The only time that you can't control your thoughts is when you are unconscious. And even then, people don't realize. And we're going to be bringing in doctors and physicians that's going to talk to us this month about the power of your thoughts and how you can control your thoughts. Even when you're unconscious, if you aren't careful, you can. And if you are careful enough, you can witness yourself being strong enough to control those thoughts. It's like going to bed at night, right? And having a dream. You're unconscious. You're in a place or you're in a state where you're not necessarily looking with your eyesight at something to spark your imagination. You're able to accept the dreams that you have. But it's really about what you put in your mind before you go to bed. That's why you have bad dreams. That's why you have nightmares. That's why you have fears and doubts throughout the day is because of the power of the things that you have put in your mind. And so the Bible is very clear in Romans chapter 12, verse one, Paul, who was named, was changed from Saul. He was, as Saul, a killing, he was, he killed Christians. He was a killer of Christians. But when he gave his heart to God, then he began to become aggressive about the things of God. So he was able to tell and encourage the Roman church. He said, I'm beseeching, or in other words, I'm begging you guys, brethren, by the mercies of God. In other words, it's God's mercies that we're not consumed. So since you're still alive, the only way in biblical times for a sacrifice to take place was that something had to die. Something had to be given up, right? So he's saying by the mercies of God, in other words, the mercy and the grace that God has allowed you to live, instead of dying as a sacrifice, he's saying be holy in your bodies, that you present your bodies, watch this, a living sacrifice. Holy, number one, acceptable unto God, number two, which is your reasonable service. In other words, you don't get a pat on the back. You don't get any cookies for that, but that's a reasonable service. Verse two says, and be not conformed to this world, right? Forget what they're trying to do. Forget what they're trying to say. Forget your opinion. Forget your thoughts. Let's dive into the word of God and let's hear the heart of Paul as he's encouraging us to say, be ye transformed, not conformed, but transformed by the renewing that means this is a daily walk before the Lord. This is an hourly talk. This is an hourly, this is a moment by moment prayer and de declaration over your life that you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what that good, number one, at least be good, <laughs> acceptable and perfect. In other words, the mature will of God for your life. So with that being said, we're going to be focusing on the power of your thoughts. My question is for you guys today, before we end today's discussion, what are you thinking about? Because your thoughts are your seeds. So whatever it is you're planting in your mind is what's going to happen in your body and your soul. We'll talk more about the power of your thoughts. So long for now. God bless you. Peace.